Hey RM Beers, we have another great video for you today. We're gonna to be talking about insects. I know it's not something that we talk about all the time, but we have some pretty cool stuff that we wanna show you and some ravenous insects, so stay tuned. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about Grub Terra. They sent us some soldier black soldier fly larva and uh, wanted us to try them out and wanted to show you, you guys kind of what we do with our insects so we feed a bunch of different things to our insects but we also feed insects to our blue tongue skinks so we'll try to feed them as well but the soldier fly larva black soldier fly larva um look like big mealworms apparently they're uh pretty healthy to have for your your uh animals insects stuff like that, that you're feeding Here's one here. And uh, so we're gonna try to feed them to our African assassin bugs. So let's try that out. Hopefully none of these uh, started pupating and turning into flies. But, so they sent us a pretty large uh, container full of them. It's a pretty good deal. There's a lot in there. Um, they seem to be healthy, they seem to be Doing all right, so let's, hopefully I don't get bit. Oh, here's a couple here. Look at this big guy. Oh, oh, I dropped one. Let me get another. That's gonna be a fly. And nope. Doesn't seem to be interested. How about you? Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> the spiny assassin bugs didn't seem to be hungry at the moment. I, they normally just tackle things and it's really fun to watch them. Um, there's a bunch of little babies in there and I think these are a little too big for some of them. So uh, let's move on to scorpions. Hopefully the scorpions leak. We have some emperor scorpions, and hopefully you guys have seen in our other videos that we keep a couple of these uh, invertebrates. So let's try to see if one of these guys is hungry enough to eat. They like stop moving. Oh, he's just gonna eat it straight away. He's eating it. Oh, now he realizes it's alive. <laughs> Not even gonna stinger it. <laughs> Bro, you have a sausage in your mouth. Man, he must like these actually. It's pretty cool. weird that he's like walking around with it like that. We should feed a couple more and see if they do the same thing. Alright, let's try this guy here. Oh. He did the same thing. He's actually chomping now. So weird that it's just doing it like that. I think maybe it's trying to just bite its head. Let's try this guy. See if he does the same thing. Eat your food. Do you want me to do the airplane? Bloop. No. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so the scorpions seem to enjoy them. Uh, we're gonna try it with a blue tongue skink here. So I'm gonna dip this in the water so it's a little wet. How about that? Hey. What do you think about that? Oh, snap. He's in. Or she. Eat it. Eat it. Urgh. Usually they thrash around with a bug. Doesn't want me to take it from her. Let's see if a couple of these will work. Apparently that's interesting. Hmm. That one didn't taste good. That one did. Nom, 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 nom. All day. It's a hit. <laughs> you only have 995 more to eat. <laughs> that one's holding pretty still. <laughs> Doesn't like it unless it's. Maybe that one's not alive. I might not be alive. Oh, maybe it's just a casing. I only like some if they're juicy. That yeah, got too close to the other one. Can you get that one? Do you even see it? <laughs> the lid here? Ugh. I can't get it either. Mm. Let's put a whole bunch on a plate and try it out with a different one. Alright, let's try a handful of these all at once. This little turn around. Just coming out of brumation. Oh no. You don't want any of these just roaming around in there. Come on. Here. Just coming out of brumation. They all st all the babies stopped eating. The larva got some legs on them. Mmm. They wouldn't even eat for us. They're just coming out of brumation and they wouldn't eat, so getting them to eat the larva is a good idea. Come over this way. This way. Look at these. Look at these. No. Where are you going? Yeah. That's a mouthful. It's good that there's a lip on these so that they can't get away, but they also fall in there. That's really cool that she's eating. Grub Terra seems to be working. Once our skinks wake up a little bit more out of brumation, they just are starting to get warmed up today. Um, 
once they come out, we're going to feed them a lot more of these and see how they work out. But we'll update you guys. Make sure you guys are looking for the link for this company down below. We'll tell you all the places where you can buy them. And uh, yeah, Grub Terra, thank you so much for helping us and sponsoring this video. So now I'm just going to tell you guys real quick some of the exciting stuff that we have breeding this year. I'm just going to run through them. We have one, two, so we have 24 just on this grow out rack here. We also have all of these are to size. So there's 18 in this rack and there's 20 in this rack. Um, my quick math, if I'm a mathematician, is, uh, how did I send this one? 21, 20, 24, 24, dang. So that's 44, that's uh, 50, 62, right? Sure. 62 breeder females this year. Is that right? <laughs> Somebody check my map. I'll, I'll check it. <laughs> so just a couple of the cool things that we have to size. We're gonna, I'll show you real quick. This girl's to size and she's breeding. This is a pastel Enchi Het Pie, 66% Het Candy. Look at her. Woo, she's actually just trying to leave. But uh, beautiful snake. Just one of the cool stuff. Het Pie, Het Candy. Stuff that we got going on here. We just showed you all this stuff. We just showed you all this stuff, but people do ask me like, oh, so what, you know, like, what do you got breeding right now? Um, so like this girl's breeding. This is the, is it pastel too? Yeah. Pastel banana clown female. She's breeding. So, uh, what are we most excited for? Oh, I don't know. We have a double het ultra malpied female that's breeding. We have, um, I'm really excited about, Ryan moved all this stuff around. This butter, this pastel black pastel butter coral glow het clown female. We're excited that we're breeding her. Man. So last year we were like, oh man, maybe we can have we might have, uh, you know, 26 to 30 clutches. I think we had, we rounded out with like 21, maybe is what it, at the very end of the season, 19 to 21. I actually have to get that number. But this year we have a good shot at hitting like, I don't know, 40, 50 maybe, something like that. Uh, we have over 60 breeder females that are going, that are breeding. Um, we have a bunch of lace stuff that's gonna be going. Let me get a close up over here of how you are, Ryan is gonna start maybe labeling some of these things. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you think that uh, we should keep it like this. <laughs> some of the names though are hard. So, you know, Ryan has these clips here that work out really well, but um, you know, lesser possible hit sunset. That's not so bad, but some of the things that have huge names it might not work out so well look at this girl oh she pooped so that's a lesser possible head sunset we're uh, pretty sure though I mean look at her she doesn't look just lesser so lots of crazy stuff going on here so make sure you guys keep an eye out on our YouTube channel if you haven't already subscribed make sure you're subscribing hit that like button it really helps us out and comment down below what do you guys think of our setups what do you think of our labeling? What do you think of our, you know, now our black soldier flies that we'll be having because the larva we have to feed off real quick and they sent us a lot. Um, <laughs> but also make sure you guys are watching Herp House Rock. So uh, I think we're gonna show you one more animal and talk about it and then we're gonna let you guys go. So, all right. So a lot of people have been asking um, about the anthill pythons. Ryan's calling me a wuss, but once they come out they're cool but they do have a pretty strong feed response hopefully I don't get bit um, but they are the world's smallest pythons so this is a male and uh, he's beautiful anthill so is anathrasia 
Antaresia. Antaresia. Ryan always corrects me. And um, Antaresia. 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 But beautiful animals. They are really cool. They produce really, really tiny babies. Um, they are dope. I mean, so cool. Uh, we, <laughs> I was talking to Jeremy Ball today. He asked how many species we have. And I think we're like 14 or 15, something like that. Um, which might be a lot, you know, but we try to keep it to certain ones, you know, have certain environments. And this guy is wrapping me up pretty good. So we try to keep it to certain environments and hopefully um, keep everything going well. It's like a little bracelet. Because they're so tiny. This is a full grown adult. Full grown adult breeder male. And um, yeah, pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to Grub Terra for sending us some free product. We enjoy that always. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I like that shirt. <laughs> I knew that time you spilled that tub of water all over me. Actually, when I put it on, I was like, I think the, not the last time that were, but just before that was when I spilled that water all over the place. Okay. So let's try. Is that alive? Oh, your feet. <laughs> try. Try to. You're feeding a dead one. Oh. I just don't want to lose them. So the average. You're not like us. Not messed up, but. The spiny assassin bugs. Yeah. They're not from Africa? Maybe, but nobody no. says African assassin uh. bugs. All right. <laughs>